Breaking news. Plane that killed General Ibrahim, the chief of staff that died on Friday, was shot down. Not bad weather. When we tell you Nigerians that something is happening, I'm sorry to say some people are quick. Fake news. Fake news is out in the open. You know, you, so you cannot hide it for too long. It will surely come out. It was shot down. It was not bad weather. Nigerian governments were quick to tell us that, ah, bad weather. What do you call bad weather? Bad weather. Hmm. My people, you they hear the matter. They said they shoot the plane down. You'll be surprised who really shot this plane down because you don't forget that uh, Muhammad Buhari has a plan that, uh, you know, he was already afraid that he wanted to overthrow him. So for that singular reason, he was skeptical of any senior officer. As a matter of fact, they were all suspect. So what was the best thing to do? Ensure that they all retire before their time. So what did they do? They have put the person now that is the head, eh? because he has, he has some seniors ahead of him, they are all forced to retire. Whether they like it or not, they must all retire. Why? Because a junior has been promoted ahead of them. It's all planned so that the military does not overtake Buhari. Remember that this thing came out. So what's the best thing to do? Eliminate the, the former chief of staff that died last week, Friday. Then uh, put a junior person, remove all the senior. Then you feel that you have a balanced government. Can you see the rationale? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Breaking news. Plane that killed General Ibrahim was not bad weather. It was shot down by missiles. Not bad weather. Investigation journalist Kemi has revealed that the plane that killed the late chief of staff, General Ibrahim, was shot down by a surface to air missile. She disclosed the military conspiracy in a series of tweets shared to, to her Instagram page on Sunday. According to her, President Muhammad Buhari must not leave any stern and turn in the investigation of the assassination as there is a conspiracy because the late chief of staff ordered the killing of IPOB commander Nkwesu. She also stated that the Ibrahim was probing his predecessor on their military phone meant, meant to end insurgents and operation like Lekki Togate and other war incidents and evil that was done by the predecessor. The current, the former chief of army staff now that died was investigating these things. He was opening lots of cans of worms. So this guy was in many people's bad book. Okay, let's continue. The military plane that killed General Ibrahim was shot down by an air, by an air to surface missile and not bad weather. It is time for the army protect the land. Late Ibrahim was investigating his past colleague. Key government officials were told not to attend his barrier. Very sad. It was, it was an intentional thing. Buhari was not there. Vice president was not there. Governors were having parties. If you're not aware, that was the day um, the attorney general's son was marrying. So they were all in Kanu State. Please go to Apple Line Media and see for yourself. We've, we've been exposing all those things that have been going on. Okay? He was investigating his, the past, he was investigating his past, you know, uh, colleagues, the past uh, uh, chief of army staff. And that man seemed to be seemingly somebody who, you know, is not in line with all their plan, coup, and plots. He was going to expose a lot. He was going to be, I mean, Buhari felt like, ah, 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 he's a fool and you, but you know that in every, in every case, in every hundred, there are just this exception. In every, when those cases start happening, there is one exception. Uh -huh. This guy was that exception that do not want some certain things to be done and so was going to expose too much. Uh -huh. So they have to, you know, make sure that no stone is left unturned. It was all proposed. It was not, it was never, uh, it was never um, a mistake. What happened? No, it was well planned. We keep saying people are not listening. Ah, it was well planned, well orchestrated. It was well planned. It was not, who told you that bad weather? 
Don't deceive yourself. Buhari was having tea, coffee, having a nice time. I mean, enjoying himself very well. When all this, when the man was, and they put a new person now that is their own person, a toy boy, so to say, that they can control. Imagine they pick the very junior, eh? And they put him ahead of others. The plan is, you know where we picked you from. You cannot do other than what we have told you. If you try and you know what happened to the person before you, you yourself will go. Mm. So what's the best thing? Keep your mouth short. Pretend, turn a blind eye. Pretend like you did not see it. You must not say anything. You must play along. And the, and the answer would be an head nod. Yes, sir. I hear you. Are you ready to follow the rule and order? The law? Say yes, sir. Will you follow as, as, as I've told you? Yes, sir. Will you probe your predecessor? No, sir. Will you make unnecessary alarm? No, sir. Okay, you are fit to go. You make sure you obey. If you, the minute you disobey, you are a goner. I say, yes, sir. I'm happy for the opportunity. I'm ready to serve my country. You are not serving your country. You are actually enslaving yourself. You are enslaving those who you who, who, who entrust. I mean, you are enslaving your, your own very self. Okay? Because now you take the oath to protect people. And now you they do something else. So when people are telling you that the play high, it was high, it was it? No, 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 no. Don't get it twisted. Ah, don't be deceived. They know what they are doing. Ah, did you see the former IGP? He was in Imo State trying to arrest people. When they tell us they don't remove them, put Baba. <laughs> you don't understand what is going on. Is it Nigeria is a chess game in their hands? It's a chess, and Buhari is quickly trying to make sure that he leaves no no stone unturned. We keep telling you guys that there is more to this than beneath the eyes in Nigeria today. Is a scam. If you know those that are controlling things, if you know those that are things that are involved in what is going on in this country, you will weep. And you will just ask God that this country, they should close the whole thing and let it restart afresh. Because <laughs> what we are experiencing here, what is going on, if you know the real truth, <laughs> you, will, you will just feel so sad unnecessarily. Yes, it's that bad. You feel so sad. Eh? See, that man is somebody's husband. I'm not saying he's a saint, too. Don't get me wrong. That man, the children now are fatherless and the wife is a widow. Not himself alone. No. There is one that newly got married. There is one that is about to get married. There are other people as well. But, I mean, for the case of this, we know that is the former chief of army staff. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.